This is Accurate TV News. Where you get your news on time, on point, and online. No tears for the Queen, but Bobo Shanti adamant that they are not rejoicing. It was business as usual for Rastafarians in Bobo Hill, St. Andrew, yesterday following the news of the death of UK's longest serving monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. In fact, the Bobo Shanti priests were not enthused by the reaction of the Jamaican government in the aftermath of her death. A release from the office of the Prime Minister yesterday stated that with immediate effect, all flags on public buildings should be flown at half-mast. To mark the commencement of a period of mourning for Queen Elizabeth II between September 8 to 19, a day of mourning will also be observed on September 18. On the day of mourning, the public is being advised that only authorized activities related to the day are approved and that all social events should be postponed. However, in Bobo Hill yesterday, Honorable Priest Christopher Morant and Trevor Stewart argued that while they were not gloating over the Queen's transcension, for them her death represents the imminent fall of a Babylonian colonial system that has kept black people captive for centuries. But I know anything personal, we not personalizing it to say man glad because we have mothers, we have sisters and we have daughters. We are talk about the system that she was the head of, said priest Stuart. Of course, we can respect that. But she was the head of a colonial system. Remember, you know, it was her Lloyd of London. Her insurance company did most of the ship them bill in a Liverpool. The man them who did a bill the ships them. The chain and the locks make whole heap of money. Those places are still presently benefiting and still operating. So because it was a business and she has bought it to a science everything the inner every drawers everywhere documented he had it rastafarians have been leading the call for a repatriation from britain for the atrocities of slavery and the slave trades echoing sentiments shared by his colleague priest morant reiterate the call to be repatriated to africa their homeland if you don't come you know the judgment i go get thicker. There is no one to stand up for our justice. International Court of Justice, EU, European Union, worse. The present African Union turning a deaf ear and a blind eye. The Jamaica government not showing nothing. So now what? We invoke our ancestral power of the nature. Earthquake, lightning and thunder. That is what is helping us, he said. I and I feel the great joy knowing that it is coming to an end the time of our repatriation and our compensation i and i ever a chant to bring down rehab and babylon if you see it fallen it's fallen babylon the great is fallen and has become a habitation of the devils and dragons and all unclean birds you know revelation speak of that priest morant also reject the period of mourning for the departed queen baba shanti here in baba hill and outside don't mourn we don't get involved in a babylonian business he said queen elizabeth II died on thursday aged 96 after reigning for 70 years her son king charles III has taken over the reigns